Hello everyone, Ivy B with Ivy B Creates. We're going to do another washcloth, dishcloth, stitch tutorial. Um, what we're going to need tonight is it, your favorite cotton, any cotton that you want to use, but I'm using Crafter Secret cotton. It's a number four, and the colorway on this is Fondant Fun 2. You're going to need a size 6 millimeter hook or a J10, a pair of scissors to snip your ends in, and a needle of your choice. I prefer one that will poke your finger, prick your finger, or you can use a blunt one. And the washcloth that we're going to do tonight, or the stitch tutorial to create it, is front loop single crochet washcloth. It has, it is a pretty dense washcloth, and it's got some good texture to it. All we're going to be doing is working in the front loops only. This was done in 30 chains across and I worked it until I uh, kind of squared it off. Not necessarily it is square, it's just enough for a hand. I like mine just for a hand, that's it. And then on the end I did a front loop, um, sorry, a slip stitch across going into both uh, loops. So if you want to learn this stitch, grab your materials and come along. Let's go. All right, let's get this tutorial going. So this stitch tutorial is any number of stitches. So I am going to put a slip knot on my hook. And I'm not going to do the entire um, washcloth with you. I'm going to do about 10 stitches. So let's put 10 on 10 chains. A chain is yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. And we're going to continue doing that until you have 10 or my washcloth was done in 30 chains. But to practice this, just put 10 chains, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and we're going to add one more because we're doing a single crochet row. Okay, we are going to work a single crochet in the second chain from the hook. The loop on our hook does not count as a chain. Our chains are here, so here's one, and there's two, and we're going to put a single crochet into that chain. So there's one, two, a single crochet is into the stitch or chain, draw up a loop, pull through, yarn over, and go through two. Let's do that again. Into the stitch, draw up a loop, pull through, yarn over, go through two into the stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. And we will do that all the way down here to the first chain. So let's continue doing single crochets. To the very first chain. We're down here on our last one. And this stitched uh, pattern is pretty basic. All we're going to be doing is working into the front loops. So we're going to chain one, turn our work, 
and we're going to work in the front loops. If you're looking down at your stitches here, we have something that looks like a V. See that? A V. This is your back loop. This is your front loop. And we're going to be working in this front loop all the way down. So, let's get it back together here. So we did our chain one and we're going to work in the front loop of the very first stitch. So we're going to go through the front from go here like this into the front, go up, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through. It's the same stitch we did down here, a single crochet, but we're just doing it in the front loop. So let's go back into that front loop again. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, one more time. Front stitch there, there's two stitches there. You got the back and you got the front. We're gonna go into the front and draw up a loop pull through, yarn over, pull through two. We're going to do that all the way down, placing a single crochet in the front loop only. We're on the very last one. We're going to place a single crochet in the front loop only. We're going to chain one, turn our work. We're going to go right back down into that front loop again. And we're going to do another single crochet in the front loop only. Go into the next stitch in the front and do a single crochet in the front loop. Go to the next stitch and do a single crochet in the front loop. And we're going to do that all the way back to the beginning. So here we are in the last one. Let's do a single crochet in the front loop. And that's it. Front loop, single crochets, row after row. You will find here is your uh, stitch definition. You will have that on the front and the next row it will be on the back. So that's what we're going to be doing row after war. row. Sorry. So work your practice stitch and then you can work your washcloth. And once again, here's what it looks like. As you can see, you got your lines on the front. It's very dense. It's got some definition to it. And on the back side, it looks the same. The only thing I did on the end was do a slip stitch all the way across in both loops. So there you go. You have a front loop single crochet washcloth. Thank you for watching.